Some leaked images from Sony's production line of the PS5 have emerged and we are taking a deep look at them, so let's get to it. Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting a green PS5, maybe a red one, maybe one side red, one side green, make it Christmas, I don't know, but g'day guys, my name's Champ, if you guys end up enjoying today's video, please smack the like button real good, and let me know in the comments down below, what color would you want your console to be, but... We have some news regarding the PS5 and its color options because we have some leaked images from Sony's production line and this is just wild. This news came out overnight, these leaked images they did, and you can see the customizable faceplates. They pop on and off. That's what it seems like right here. And you can actually see this image right here where it's a PS5 faceplate, like the, the side plate and then an actual piece of A4 paper, what it seems like. It's probably an A4 size. If you're American, you probably don't know what an A4 is because you don't use the metric system or anything. I have no idea what you guys call your pieces of paper, but uh, you can see the size difference kind of gives you an idea of how big the side of a PS5 will be. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about these customizable face plates and the potential for them. Now, if you've kept up with the news and actually watched my videos over the past few weeks, you would know that Sony have actually themselves said that this this console will have many different editions and one of them could end up being black if we can get those customizable face plates. Just like me, I know a lot of you guys want the console in a sleek black look and it would look a lot, lot better than the current one, which still looks like a pretty cool console, it looks kind of futuristic, but I know it's a very controversial, very splitting the community. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying it looks cool. A lot of people are saying it doesn't. It's very polarizing. But yeah, so Sony themselves have said that there will be different editions of the PS5. It won't just be in white, similar to how they did the PS4, where you've had Gran Turismo editions, Spider-Man editions. You've had so many different editions, the, the 25th anniversary, all that. So there are plenty of PS4 different editions. Now for the PS5, we're probably going to get that exact same treatment. We're going to get different colors. As you know, the PS5 did launch, I should say the PS4 did launch in black and then it was re-released in white. You could get it in white and then obviously all the other editions. But with the PS5, it looks like it's a completely different turnaround and you're going to have it originally in white. And then probably, my guess is by March or probably latest, I'd say July 2021, we will start seeing potential face plates, or I should say side plates, similar to how the Xbox 360 did it in the past. And that's when we'll see those come out. But then there will be only limitations to that because obviously Sony will still want to make money on different editions of the console, not just selling these side plates. Now, the reason this is even a topic on top of it just being leaked images from the actual Sony production line, which is crazy, is the fact that the way these actual pins that you see are placed on the inside look like they're pretty easy to slip on and off. And obviously the PlayStation, the PS5 itself, the middle is going to have the, the black and the blue lighting in that, but then the, the side plates are going to be white, but you can interchange those, hopefully. I'm actually really hoping that this does become a thing where you can pop them on and off, and it would be interesting to actually see what the PS5 itself looks like without those side plates. Maybe it would actually change the size of the console. Probably not too much, actually. They're probably like a half an inch or something, but that's very important if you get what I mean. Oh man, I'm terrible, but no, it's just, it's cool to see this kind of happening again. It's been so long since we've had a console that's really customizable. As I said, the 360, the Xbox 360 was the last one that we saw like that. So it is exciting to see it now sort of returning. And then obviously Xbox with the Xbox Series X aren't gonna have those customizable options. They'll probably come out with limited edition consoles. And that's what PlayStation will be doing too with the PS5, but it's gonna be cool if they do allow us this customization option. So yeah, let me know what color you guys would like to see with this, because I would honestly probably just go with the main black one because that is the one that everybody wants. And that's the option that we will have if they do allow customization. And on top of that, if you can just pop these on and off, there's a lot of different companies out there, I think like Dbrand and all that, doing skins where they'll actually allow you to get skins for the PS5 and like, like vinyl it on essentially and stick it on, which is pretty cool. I think that's an option right there, especially if it is easy to slip on and off these different plates. 
So yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that there. It is cool though that we are seeing more and more leaks from inside Sony, which is crazy. And uh, yeah, hopefully we do get more information soon. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, as I said. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Please smack the like button if you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.